Keo cards <laughs> are technically better, <laughs> but this is the biggest flex, boys. <laughs> yes, <laughs> let's go. Matrona Wombo Combo, too strong, game breaking, ladies and gentlemen. Now, in today's video, we are on a mission, and that mission is to win one whole match with Matrona. Uh, I have done a bit of testing today with both Matrona and Camilla, and for 4v4 PvP, man, oh, they are not very good on global uh gear pvp because of the rule like you know the rule is just crazy this week there is so much damage reduction so it's not a very good uh, place to do showcases this week so yeah we're very constrained but i've got a, a mixed race team here with green goat as passives so we got demon uh lost fame meliodas we got human keo we've got giant matrona and also unknown gotha but here he's gone for something uh, uh, fairly similar as well. We got the combination of Keo and Lost Vein. However, the thing is, uh, he's just attack disabled me. So that's uh, slightly unfortunate news. But I think here we'll go for let's upgrade. Obviously, Matrona because she's the the best of all of these characters. These two really are just uh, cosmetic fodder. But I think if we go for uh, this play on Gotha and then maybe maybe attack disable. I mean, we're likely to upgrade. We're going to get 100% clapped. Oh, gosh. Either way, we do get almost 100% clapped. I think we uh, disable Keo, though. Because it's only silver on Lost Vein. Oh, no, we didn't upgrade Lost Vein. Okay, that was the, the right move to attack disable Keo there. So, Matrona, she's the combination of... Uh, what is that? Fraudrin's, um AoE card... That on silver removes buffs from all enemies. So I was hoping we could maybe like <laughs> fight some mono red at some point today. And maybe that's how we're going to get our win. Because yeah the chances. I don't know man. They, they might be looking a little bit slim here. But since I have no way to remove ignite. I really do need to get this uh, this Keo down if we can. So yeah I think we'll go for. Let's go for this mad lad. And then should we just go for Matrona's ult? Is that too wild? Man, is it too wild? It's a Matrona video. We've got to go for it. Come on, Keo. Yes, get a little bit of damage. Matrona, you can do it. Nice. That is that is Keo dead. Matrona, best character in this game confirmed. Okay. We are also going second tier. <laughs> okay, there's got that's gotta be a uh a heal? Heal? Or drain. It could be either, actually. Heal or drain? I really hope it's a heal. Ah, it's a drain. Okay. Maybe not the worst case scenario. Where are my Matrona cards, bro? Oh, is Gotha still alive? Go oh, Gotha's alive, dude. Gotha is alive, boys. Okay, I think we get... We got three stacks here? Oh, we have three stacks. Okay, we got three stacks. If we go for that... And then I think we want to plunge one of these in. And then what else should we go for? I think the cleave as well should be enough. If we go for the charge card. Because, yeah, we got three stacks of Gotha's passive. Um, yeah, plenty of damage, man. Plenty of damage. Oh, we just... Oh, mate, I thought we were just going to cleave that Lost Vein down just like that, boys. And then we'd be done with it. To be fair, I probably could have gone for a uh, double cleave play and gotten away with it there with all the um, uh, the damage synergy. But, you know, Lost Vein, he's all right. But I, I think we can all agree that Matrona uh, very much carried that matchup. You know, she had a phenomenal performance. If she didn't get Keo down when she did, boys, I, I think we would have lost the match. But there we go. We have uh, made somebody forfeit. <laughs> using Matrona on the team, guys. Haters will say that Keo <laughs> and Lost Vein and Gotha, uh, you know, are the good characters in that one, but what do they know, guys? What do they know? All right, so we just skipped ahead. A super easy bot match, but fingers crossed we got a, a player on the line to suffer at the hands of my giant Matrona. She is a, she's a big girl. Okay, I think this is likely to be a player here. Let's go for a flight bow, see if we can get anything back. And, oh my gosh, Escanor countered, boys. Look at this. Like, you won't see this from any other character in the entire game. You ready for this? Okay. We fire this card. It removes Escanor's buff, turn one. If there were four red Escanors, they'd all be cancelled right there. Unbelievable levels of value right now. 
Oh, we gave Lost Vein gold cards. Okay, we might be a little bit wrecked. We we could be all right. Um. Uh. <laughs> I don't know if he goes for King Cleanse and then double Lost Vein. I think that's what I do in his position. King Cleanse, get rid of all those debuffs. Or oh, he actually might go for a heal. I think that's the approach that he's going for here. Interesting, and then he's clapping with one Lost Vein card. Oh, but what this man doesn't know is he's just used his cleanse. Oh, he's got a merger on King. Okay, hopefully that isn't a cleanse. I know he's got a Petrify somewhere. <laughs> so that's uh, that's not great news as well. But if we upgrade everything here, right? And then we go in for... um, What do we want to go for here? I think we go for this. And then we go for the Attack Disable on Lost Vein. So this is two turn attack disable if he doesn't cleanse it. <laughs> and we also drain loads of ult gauge. So if he's if he drew a cleanse there, we're in massive trouble. But if not, we might be able to win this. But if he did top deck a cleanse, especially straight into a silver merger there, man, <laughs> that's gonna be mad. <laughs> Oh, please say it's not a heal. Oh no, he's going straight for it, man. It's gotta be. Oh my god. This man's got horseshoes coming out of every hole. That's mental. Okay. Lost Vein, please survive. Please survive. Come on, Lost Vein. You got this. You can do it. Okay, Lost Vein is petrified. Kia, we still got Kia. We still got Matrona. The game's not over yet, boys. Okay, maybe it's over. May I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm dead, actually, here. But, you know, sometimes you can't fight rigged RNG, boys. You know? This game is 100% rigged. And there's uh, there's nothing that we can do about it sometimes. If he hadn't have drawn a cleanse there, and there was a um, a pretty good chance that he wasn't going to draw a cleanse. Because <laughs> you start off with eight cards, you use three. You only draw three more. There's a potential of, like, eight cards that you can draw into. Especially the merger as well. Two cleansers, man. Poor. Oh, this guy's a net marble employee. I hate fighting employees of the company in PvP. I'm looking for fair matches against players. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm not salty about that one at all, boys. Not so, not even a little bit salty. But let's move on to the uh, the next matchup. This one, the biggest W we've ever seen. Oh my god. Yes. Go for it. Do it. I know you want to do it, bro. You've got it. You've got the upgrade. You've got the gold card. Come on, Barn. Let's go for a polite bow. I'm 100% convinced this is a player. Come on, let's see an Arthur buff here. He might save up for gold. And that'll be even better. <gasps> He's not going for it. Okay. Going for recovery disable, I think. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. He's trying to bait me here. Okay, so I've got to go upgrade Matrona. And then I think we just double single target the Gotha. I think so, yeah. Because I don't want to upgrade his Lost Vein cards. Because that's exactly what he wants me to do. Okay, right. I'm hoping <laughs> he wastes an upgrade and then the Arthur buff card. That is the dream here. Or maybe he knows what Matrona does. I think he might do. Okay, so cleanse. Then we got, I assume, the drain on us. And then maybe a petrify. Yeah, Lost Vein is getting petrified. I mean, it's not really too much of a problem. We've uh, we still got Matrona in play, so we're in a great scenario. Plus, he's used the cleanse as well. So I think here we go for... Let's go for the Fire Cleave. There's a moderately good chance that he's drawn or going to draw. I, th I think we got to start nuking in at some point. So yeah, let's just go in now. So that gets Gotha down. Some more debuffs. Fingers crossed. If he doesn't have a cleanse on King here, we're in a great spot. 
Worst case scenario is like cleanse and then double gold loss vein, and that probably only kills Gotha or maybe Meliodas. Could kill Meli. I think if I was him, I'd probably go for Meliodas, in all fairness, because Meli's got two gold cards. So if he was to cleanse and then double kill Gotha, he'd just get clapped next turn by double gold. Okay, so I think he's got cleanse there. Oh, no, 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 no. It's another, another fossilization. <gasps> okay, he couldn't get around the attack disable. This is tremendous news. So what we can do now is uh, I think we just win the game with Matrona. Let's go in. Let's cancel the buffs here. We've got we've just got to do this with Matrona. Like the Keo cards <laughs> are technically better, <laughs> but this is the biggest flex, boys. <laughs> yes, <laughs> let's go. Matrona wombo combo too strong, game breaking beyond 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 God tier. Well, um. That was pretty sick. <laughs> that was really good. All right, so let's look for our final opponent. I'm pretty sure this is a player. There's a little bit of a snag there with the wait time. Uh, so yeah, definitely a player with that CC. Right, what have we got? We got Halloween Gotha, King, Keo, Meliodas. Interesting team. What's he going to go for? Maybe just uh, start bursting him with Lost Vein here? I think. This man's just going for it, eh? It's, it's not a bad strategy. Oh no, he's kind of splitting it between Keo and Lost Vein. Hmm. Oh my goodness. That was, yeah, not a bad play. Um, I think here, let's go for... Obviously, we want to upgrade Matrona. And then... We start nuking into Keo. Should we go for the attack to save long Keo as well? I think. So let's go for this punch in and let's also attack to save all this man. Just that way we also don't upgrade um Lost Fame Meliodas. Okay, nice. He might go for a cleanse. I, I think there's a good chance he'll uh, cleanse, fire cleave, and then maybe chuck off the Gotha Drain? Did he move around a card on Kier or get a merger there? I think he just got a merger, yeah. So he's going for upgrade on Kyo. Oh no, it's going to be gold, bro! Oh, mate, this is going to hurt a little bit. <laughs> Oh, he went for the single target. Why did he go for single target? The cleave would have finished off uh, Gotha easily. I would assume there. Maybe next turn, man. He's just uh, he's just toying with me. Hmm. It's kind of where I wish I had the attack disable here. Um. <laughs> right. If I got if I send in all the damage here. It's probably not going to be enough to kill, but it might be enough. Might be just enough. I think that's like the only player I got. Yeah, come on, man. Lost Rain, you got this, bro. Nice, nice. Oh, happy to see that. Well, where, where did those cards come from? Oh, I think because we crit Lost Fame and then gave him a merger. It's like, dude, that's a bit of <laughs> gold and silver popping up. Okay, at least we got a bit of damage reduction for this. I think we still dead though, bro. Oh, yeah, man. Matrona's gonna need a big comeback for this one, boys. We don't have like any crazy draw as well, so I think we're just um straight up dead here. I think, unless the somehow one shots, which I don't think it's gonna one shot. Uh, so yeah, I think we go for this, and let's <laughs> let's try to luck with the Matrona card. <laughs> uh, yeah, unfortunately, uh, you know she couldn't get us out of that one. But uh, let's uh, let's bail out, bail out that match, man, and uh, we'll go out and find uh, one final opponent. All right, so I'm not gonna lie, we got clapped again, and then we we won a match, but it was a, a super easy 20 IQ sim bob match. Uh, but this looks like our final opponent here, man. So fingers crossed, we can win one more for the lads out there, the Matrona fan club. We've got to do it. Oh, we got Esther Rosa here. 
interesting. Oh, all rush team as well. Okay. Um, we we might be a little bit a little bit screwed over by this. We need to start nuking into Esther because what we can do here, we want to apply um, Halloween Darkness. I guess King can kind of screw us as well. So yeah, maybe we just go for Cleave here. I think so. So we got the dissolve active. Everybody's in a bit of a bit of a dented scenario here, ready to be finished off by Matrona. He's got no way to merge the heal. So whatever ult he goes for, I think we can punish. Oh. Need to get that Asterosa down. Oh, mate. Still doesn't cancel out the ult. I'm just trying to think about plays here, man. I think we gotta I think we gotta go for this. Um and then this is well on Matrona. I may be incorrect with the play here. I probably should have gone for the Keo card. <laughs> now nah, we're good, man. We're good. Okay. Hey, let's go. I I hope he hasn't merged a King Heal though. We might be uh, in a lot a lot of trouble if he uh, does. Okay, so smashing into Gotha there, um, putting the shield up. We about to finesse this boy right here, guys, because uh, I don't know if you know this, but we can actually uh, remove buffs, five head play. I think we might actually have the game winning play here. Yeah, I think so. Let's go upgrade Matrona, cancel the shield on Merlin, pop off Merlin Escanor. Pow, pow. Oh, no. Merlin didn't go pow, but there's King. He's in the bin. <laughs> but there we go. We did it, guys. We won another match. So, uh, fair play. What, what a good sport, man. Certainly do appreciate that. And, you know, he as well say that Keo and Lost Lane Meliodas carried that match. But I think we can all agree that it, it was Matrona that was the, the real MVP there. That finishing turn play just decided the uh, the entire match. So hopefully you'd enjoy today's uh, Matrona Global PvP Showcase. Uh, again, not really the best champion because our passive is completely useless in PvP. It just does not um, uh, work at all. And our cards, uh, they really aren't like the best cards out there either. Uh, but yeah, Matrona, you know, she's a character in the game. <laughs> So if you did enjoy it, again, please do smash that like button. Uh, but aside from that, thank you all very much for watching. Take care and I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day.